Hey fuckers, it's Needleman here, back again. Um, how you doing? We got a really classic video here today. I think H3 did a video on it. It's, it's a goddamn classic, but um, I'm not gonna bore you with any details, so um, without further ado, here we go. Meet Tim Crist, a man obsessed with Pac-Man. Hey Tim, nice to meet you and your double chin. Um, I like what you're doing with your hair, it's really nice. I call it one step below the neck beard. He obviously doesn't want to look in the camera, seeing as he's camera shy. That's probably for a couple of reasons. One, he's a greasy unwashed neck beard. Well, not neck beard, more like mullet hair. But, um, he also probably just stole the cookies out of his mom's cookie jar. After all this time, he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. And he's still guzzling cum. I mean, pellets. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Bitch, what? Yeah, and I think I'm gonna need some edibles just to get through this goddamn video. Behold, I am Pac-Man. No, you're not. You're a 39-year-old abomination of a man who's wearing some fucked up Pac-Man mask that looks like you just skinned his face off and put it on your own. On your cabbage-shaped head. Kill me. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. I think I may need a minute to just, just to process what the fuck I just heard. And it's just this wonderful thing, like, hey look, it's Pac-Man! It's kinda cute how it's kinda cute how he is in this weird little way, like, like he's a cute little puppy dog begging for a mercy killing. For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. How long is he gonna hold that pose? If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. This man is the embodiment of a fucking madman. Please end me before he finds this video. Look what you've done. Oh Jesus, I am so sorry. P please, please forgive me for my transgression, old mighty, mighty neckbeard god whatever. Please, please forgive me. He's gonna kill me, guys. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Uh, he has this psychic connection with Pac-Man. What? Wife? Pac-Man, Pac-Man. It's like he lost his child in the grocery store, except in this case, he's the child and the father. Mostly the child. I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just... Oh. I, have, I have one question. It's, it's a very important question. My one question is... WHY IN THE EVER-LOVING FUCK?! Fucking the machine. That is indecent, sir. That's fucking disgusting. Hi, Pac-Man. <laughs> These guys are not having it. The drool will be there. Ooh, friend. And he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom. He'll be reaching for tokens. Nice metaphor, Greg. Yeah, I see you, Greg. You fucking enable him. You fuck. <laughs> I just worked the page up almost, I need to not. Quarter, 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 quarter. I think maybe, maybe just a bit, just just a bit, he's playing this up for the camera. Just just a bit. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? The great yellow one? You mean this? Or perhaps this? Certainly, certainly. Keep the great yellow one from going through my wall again, right? Sorry about that. This guy is a bit mad, it seems. I have no idea why. She have plenty of ideas why. He's really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> you know, I should destroy you with my Pac-Man I feel bad for his wife. Jesus. <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. You know, I could buy a car with that money. That... Sh shame on you, Tim. Shame on you. 
Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're not filming like a critically acclaimed documentary like Whale Wars. Lighten up, you fucking potatoes. Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. If he ever beat it, maybe he'd die of happiness and relieve us of his presence. Wouldn't that be great, guys? Wouldn't that be fucking great? <laughs> when the holy semicircle of life meets his demise, in the melting way he does, it always brings in me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Forget starving children in Africa. We need to help this poor man out. Get 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 this hashtag training. This hashtag right here. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man. Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? What the fuck kind of controller is that? I kind of want one. N n no, I don't. No, I don't. Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems, and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. He must be fucking loaded to spend 10k on Pac-Man games and then have all that money to just to devote to other Pac-Man stuff. It's, it's fucking crazy. More power to him. And his wife. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. Must be frustrating in bed too! Aha! Woo! Uh, yes! Yeah! Oh, he still got it! Fuck! You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat you. See, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore, and it's all me, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me. You get to watch me play. It must, it must be horrible to be like, know that you're the second lo love of a man's life. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Pac-Man wants to- Just, ha-ha, Pac-Man eat you now! Ah! Just, ha-ha, Pac-Man eat you now! Ah! Pac-Man eat you now! Hello, darkness, my old friend. Pac-Man eat you now! Ah! How's that? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Told you so. Why? No, don't cry. <laughs> okay, hold on. In 2001, it. Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. What? Are you ready for Batman? You're, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's a bad new go! Bitch, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Tim, Tim, what's wrong with you? The best way to Pac-Man is to use the game! You move the joystick and you eat the dot! Doesn't even rhyme! What the, what the hell is this? Come on! Gotta get a better song, Greg. This, this, this is not gonna work out. There should be counselors involved. I, I agree 100%, uh... Greg. Sometimes, you just gotta bring the message to the people. You are not going to go there. Occasionally I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life And I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should I, I already regret making this video, much like Tim's mother regrets Tim Pac-Man! 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 Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them Every week? Oh, Tim! Oh, Tim! Why? Why, Tim? Pac-Man! He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. This is even worse than road rage. Imagine, imagine coming home from work on a really tough day, and this this absolute madman, this this fucking spastic, comes up to you and screams, "Pac-Man!" I mean, come, what what the hell? I'd be I'd be pissed. I'd be rightfully pissed, in my opinion. And I simply profess the glory of the golden one who is round and eats things. Ate your manhood, I bet. Oh, I still got it. Did I just step on a book? I need to clean this shit hole up. It is written that you shall play Pac-Man! And only then shall you know the glory of Pac-Man! Poor woman. Oh, jeez. Poor, poor woman. It can be extremely embarrassing. When we're driving down the road, people are standing there like, Pac-Man? All before Pac-Man! Feel his glory! Feel the glory of Pac-Man! I'll have you know that Mario is top tier and higher than Pac-Man in every tier in Super Smash Brothers. Therefore, he is the superior character. Say Pac-Man! No! Say Pac-Man! I think these people are gonna look back on their lives. They're gonna be lying on their deathbed thinking, my God, I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. Think of what you could have been doing instead of spending all those hours playing Pac-Man. Probably would have spent them eating Doritos and not washing your hair, but 
Still, that's a lot of hours. Say Pac-Man! No! Say Pac-Man! And... No! Now it's too late. Pac-Man! Bro, shut your bitch ass up! It's adorable. <laughs> In a very disturbing way, it's adorable. <laughs> I think so too. Greg. I'm Fred Willard, and that's it for Totally Obsessed. Traveling to the farthest reaches of obsession and light years beyond. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed him. Um, don't go harass him. He seems like a good guy. A guy you could go home and crack open a cold one with. Thanks for watching, and remember to drop the toaster in the tub.